Welcome to the uh, durability test of the Casio F91W. This is where we're going to put this watch through a few of its paces. So we're going to test it against shock, um, water, test the strap and see how we get on uh, once we've had contact with a hammer. So first of all, we are going to test uh, the shock resistance of this. As you can see, still performing well. I think technology's moved on a lot since the 80s. It's no problem at all and keep ticking away. Now we're just gonna put it in some water. This watch is advertised as water resistance, um, but it's actually only to 30 meters, which just includes uh, splash resistance. So we'll see how we get on. And again, it appears to be absolutely fine working away in there. Um, I think unless you were to press some of the buttons while in the water, uh, I think you'd probably be all right. Uh, let's see. Again, all seems to be performing well. So yeah, if you're just going for a quick shower, it should be okay, but I wouldn't really want to wear it swimming or for any long periods of time. So if you can have a look, that's all operating perfectly still and doesn't appear to be any water in there. Um, next thing we're gonna test is the strap um, being resin and quite flexible uh, and a plastic buckle. Uh, it's been one of its weak points we've been told on this watch. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a pull there. As you can see, I'm putting a fair bit of strength into it from different angles and all seems to be performing well. Um, yeah, I can't imagine an instance where, you know, when you daily wear it's going to get caught or anything and you'll put it like that to exceed what I've just done to it just now. So I would say that's um, a relatively good pass. And now for the final test on this one, we'll see how it gets on with a fairly bigger shock. Well, absolutely nothing first time round. A bit of a shame to do this to this watch. Again, fairly going pretty well. So you have a few cracks at the top just there to the glass. Um, but it is all uh, still working away, no problems at all. Let's just give it one more and see how we get on. Um, not quite ready to call it a day, to be honest. There we go. The LCD screen is now uh, completely compressed, so you can see it is actually uh, trying to tell us the time, but not getting there. The light still works, but. Oops, making a nasty buzzing sound. Not too sure if that's part of the water in there as well. But there you go. Uh, that's a review of the uh, Casio for under seven pounds. I think you do pretty well with that one. Thank you very much.